Hi and welcome back. So in my last video, I spoke about how I'd managed to get my estrogen levels down and I promised to make another video explaining to you how I had done that. This is that video. So enough waffling off me, let's jump into the presentation and see how I've managed to get my estrogen levels down from high to in the normal range. Researchers are looking into the anti-inflammatory and cancer-fighting effects of DIM, a compound commonly found in cruciferous vegetables, including broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower. DIM supplements also appear to help adjust the hormone estrogen. A few clinical trials have shown it also supports healthy estrogen levels. And there are links in the description below to the studies in the articles I used to put this presentation together. Test tube and animal studies suggest that DIM supplements may help prevent the growth and spread of breast cancer. However, human studies are limited. A year-long study gave 130 women with breast cancer either a placebo or 150 milligrams of DIM twice a day. DIM supplements resulted in a significantly improved ratio of two types of estrogen. Although research is ongoing, increasing the ratio of these two types of estrogen reduces breast cancer risk and cause anti-tumor effects. A 30-day study in 19 postmenopausal women with early stage breast cancer found that taking 108 milligrams of DIM per day also resulted in beneficial changes in their estrogen levels. Test tube and animal studies indicate that DIM protects against ovarian, prostate and colon cancers as well. That said, more human trials, more human studies in the effects of DIM are definitely needed. A mouse study found that DIM helped prevent cervical cancer. However, in a six month study in 551 women with cervical abnormalities, taking 150 milligrams of DIM per day had no effect on cervical cell changes. DIM supplements may also safeguard against prostate enlargement and prostate cancer. In fact, it may help combat PIN, a condition that's characterized by prostate cell growth and considered to be a precursor to prostate cancer. In a 12-month study, 21 men with high-grade PIN were given either a placebo or 900 milligrams of DIM per day. Those given DIM experienced significant improvements in prostate health as well as their PIN. Test tube and animal studies likewise suggest that DIM helps fight prostate cancer. That said, more human studies into DIM are definitely needed. Given that estrogen plays an important role in regulating fat accumulation, DIM supplements may aid in weight loss, although no human research currently supports this particular effect. All the same, studies link an imbalance of estrogen, either too much or too little, to an increased risk of weight gain in both men and women. Furthermore, DIM supplements may stimulate fat breakdown and inhibit fat cell formation. In one study in mice on a high fat diet, 23 milligrams of DIM per pound, that's 50 milligrams per kilo of body weight, significantly reduced the formation of new fat cells. Let's take a look at some other potential uses. DIM supplements are purported to aid in other hormone related conditions too. That said, it's important to remember that research in humans in these areas is also lacking. DIM supplements are sometimes used by people to treat their hormonal acne. Hot flashes during the menopause are likely caused by hormonal changes. Some ladies use DIM supplements to reduce these hot flashes. PMS symptoms are thought to be due to monthly changes in estrogen levels. Again, some ladies use DIM to reduce these particular symptoms. High levels of estrogen in men are linked to breast growth, erectile dysfunction and infertility and again some men use DIM to counteract these particular conditions. Even if you eat plenty of veggies you may not get much DIM in your diet if cruciferous vegetables aren't a regular part of your meal plan so supplements can help. In the place of supplements include cruciferous vegetables in your diet. The best way to get any nutrient is through healthy eating. 
If you don't like them by themselves, include them in smoothies or baked dishes. You'll also benefit from the other vitamins and minerals and fiber that vegetables provide. Supplements may be more effective, however. One study found that dim supplements are more effective than the dim that comes from foods because supplements may boost and provide better absorption. In human research, doses typically range from 108 to 900 milligrams per day, although these studies were only related to treatments for cancer and prostate enlargement. A study in 24 healthy people found that dim doses of up to 200 milligrams per day were well tolerated and didn't cause any side effects. That said, one person experienced nausea, headaches and vomiting after taking a 300 milligram dose. I currently take 600 milligrams a day with no adverse effects at all. But as always, it's best to talk to your healthcare provider to obtain personalized dosage recommendation based on your intended use. Now, although DIM supplements are popular, they may be harmful to some women. If you're of reproductive age, estrogen is necessary to support healthy breast, bone and endometrial tissue. If you're pregnant, your hormone levels are changing to support your growing baby. Altering those levels by taking DIM is dangerous for you both. Also remember, DIM may also reduce the effectiveness of oral birth control medications. After the menopause, women's bodies make less estrogen, so DIM may not have as much benefit. All medications and supplements have a risk of interacting with one another, and DIM is no different. Always talk to your doctor before adding a supplement to your supplement stack. And due to the lack of research in humans, little is known about the long-term safety and side effects of taking DIM as a daily supplement. Current human research doesn't show DIM supplements to be toxic or to have any serious side effects. The most common side effects include darkening of the urine, an increase in bowel movements, headaches, and also gas. Less common side effects include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and a skin rash. As DIM supplements interact with estrogen levels, they may affect people with hormone-sensitive cancers or those who are on hormone therapies. Such individuals need to steer clear of DIM supplements unless they're under the supervision of a medical professional. No matter your medical history, it's important to consult with your healthcare provider before taking DIM as a supplement. The main reason I researched and then started to take DIM was because of my estradiol score. The top of the reference range for men is 39.8. You can see here that my score was 41.1 and quite rightly marked as high. And although my doctor wasn't too worried, she thought it was definitely something that needed to be monitored, I wasn't too happy. So I set about researching ways to bring that number down naturally, hence the discovery and subsequent adding of DIM to my daily stack. It took quite a while to conduct all the research and then decide to actually start taking DIM. So by the time the second blood test was conducted, I'd been taking DIM for just over two months. You can see the second time I measured my estradiol, it had dropped to 30.8, a drop of 10.3, which I think over two months is good. But I would like to hear from people who have an understanding of this number and also may have done something similar. I currently take 600 milligrams per day, split into three doses, 200 milligrams at 6 a.m., 200 milligrams at noon, and 200 milligrams at 6 p.m. No scientific reason whatsoever for this protocol. I suppose it's just bro science, but in my humble opinion, it seems to be working for me. So where can you get DIM from? I think firstly, and most importantly, always consult with a medical professional before you introduce any supplement, which is including DIM, into your supplement regime. Many companies now sell DIM, and it is fairly inexpensive. I would go with a brand that you trust, and one that offers a low dose capsule, so you can start your dosage small and increase gradually, provided you feel no adverse side effects. This is the brand I currently take, not a recommendation. It just happens to be one I could get hold of, and it seems to be working fairly well for me so far. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative. And if you're looking for a way to lower 
your estrogen levels. I hope you found it helpful too. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the video. Uh, and let me know if as a result of this video or maybe the previous video I did on my blood test, if you're now looking to do a blood test to find out what your estrogen levels are. And if you are, would you consider taking DIM as a way of lowering your estrogen levels if they are in fact high?